Night three of the Aquatics GB Swimming Championships and one of the best nights of racing I think you're gonna see this week. All but one event on the night hit their Olympic or Paralympic consideration times and we had a British record in the men's 400 meters individual medley. <laughs> We started the night with the men's 1500 meters freestyle and it was a little bit of a pressure cooker in here because Dan Jervis gave himself one shot to make the Olympic team in this event only. No 800, no 400 this year. The only thing he had to do this week was go sub 1454.29 and he did it in some style. He won the race in a 14.47.94 and will be on his way back for a second stab at the Olympics. Behind him is also worth mentioning that Toby Robinson went sub 15 minutes for the first time ever in his career. Now he missed out on the Olympic consideration time in this event by minuscule fractions, but he's already qualified in the open water event. The women's 400 meters individual medley. This was a head-to-head -head billing of epic proportions between Freya Colbert and Katie Shanahan, and it lived up to all of those pre-race expectations. Both swimmers going beneath the Olympic consideration time set by Aquatics GB, and Freya Colbert hitting a new personal best in 434.01. Now Freya was already qualified in the 200 meters freestyle earlier on this week, but she's not racing that individually at the Olympics. This event is her focus. And with that time in her back pocket, she may well now challenge for an Olympic podium later this summer. I mean, I'm definitely happy with it to PB, so I mean, 34 zero, I would like if it was a 33, like everyone's always happy, but not quite happy enough. So. I think it's definitely a step in the right direction, but there's still lots of work to be done if I want to be on that podium in Paris. And I'm very aware of what the girls in the rest of the world are doing, and they'll probably be moving on when their trials come around. So I'm pleased that there's definitely more to come, hopefully. Next up here in London, the crowd got incredibly vocal to support S6 swimmer Bruce D as he competed in the men's mixed classification 50 meters butterfly. He was the only swimmer racing at the time, but that didn't stop everyone in here getting as loud as they could. The Northampton swimmer scored 713 points, of course, to win the British title. Next up was the women's 50 meters freestyle and in the mixed classification race, it was Alice Tai who secured her second nomination time to the Paralympics of the week in the S8 category and Northampton swimmer Scarlett Humphrey in the S11 category from a 30.85 to secure her first selection time to the Paralympics in Paris. Anna Hopkin was the star of the show in the women's able body race. She won in a time of 24.53. Now, she wasn't the only one who impressed in this race. Eva Caro dipped underneath the 25 second barrier for the first time ever. And it's really exciting to see the talent that is coming through on female sprinting in GB. When you look around at that final tonight, there was a lot of young girls in there. What's the future of sprinting in this country looking like? Really good. I mean, obviously seeing Eva go under 25 for the first time and she's still so young. Um, obviously you can never take it for granted coming to something like this, even though, you know, I was favourite to win and multiple British champion, you know, the young ones are always coming through and you've always got to watch out behind you for them coming through. So I'm really pleased for her to do that and I know that she'll be definitely looking for a place um, in the 100 and, you know, we need people coming through for that relay because, you know, we've been around the fourth and fifth mark at the minute and we want to get a medal in Paris. So we need the young ones to come through and support that relay as well. Next up on the night, Max Litchfield's return to an Olympic trials. He's had two stabs at the Olympics so far, two fourth place finishes, and he heads to Paris this time with a British record in his back pocket in the 400 meters individual medley. Tonight was to make the team, and 
to do that and to, to take the record back was awesome. So, um, yeah, it's great. I'm just really, really happy and excited for the rest of the week and, and what the rest of the year holds now. And now some of the biggest races of the night, the men's 100 metres freestyle. We kick things off in the heats of the para races where William Ellard broke his own world record in the S14 category. Now in the evening's final session, there was another Paralympic nomination time secured by Stephen Clegg in the S12 category. And then one of the races of the week, the men's 100 meters freestyle, which saw Olympians Matt Richards, Duncan Scott, Tom Dean, Jacob Whittle, all battling it out for an individual swim in this event and a place on the four by one relay. Richards came away with the win in a 47.84 ahead of Duncan Scott who secures the second in 47.92 and Tom Dean the bronze in 47.94. Matt you just said it didn't go perfectly for you yet you're British champion in a field that's stacked full of well 347s now so what does it mean to get the hand on the wall even if the swim wasn't perfect? Yeah I mean look that was the job tonight was to was to make sure that I got that place so you know, in that respect, the job's done. Um, you know, it was a great result across the board as a team. So that, that relay is looking really exciting now. Um, you know, it's great to see those other boards on, on such good form as well. You know, it makes that, that really exciting in the summer. Um, but as you say, yeah, there was definitely some bits there that I didn't get quite right. Um, I think my execution around some of the skills wasn't very good. Um, so there's more in that, you know, there's more in that, more to come in the summer. Um, we've got another big block leading into it now. So, yeah, I think that event, I'm still, still learning it. Um, but when I get it right, it'll go really well. Now backing him up in fourth place and securing his place on the Olympic relay team was Alex Cahoon from Loughborough University. He set a massive new personal best in a 48.2 seconds. And right now that relay team heading into Paris is looking as exciting as it ever has. Tom, you've got three 47s now in that relay team. How exciting is that come to Paris? It's good. I think it's the first time we've had three 47s at Charles, which is really good. It's the first time I've gone 47 at Charles. Both really well. I didn't think it was as tight as it was. Point one between us, top three. Um, just kind of got my head down, tried to get my hand on that wall. Um, but yeah, how good is that for the relay? You know, and, and that was always my plan on the 100 free. Just come here, get my name on the relay, move on to M23. They're the individual hopes. So it's good. Alex, that's a world-class field that you've just been a part of, and you've secured yourself a place on that four by one relay in the process. What does that mean? Oh, it means everything. It's what I've been training for for the last three years since going to Loughborough. The field that speaks for itself is absolutely insane. I knew it'd be a dogfight down the last 25. I'm not known for my back end, but God, I, went, I literally went all out for that and I just left nothing, nothing in the pool. So, yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with that. So that rounds up the night's racing here at the Aquatics GB Swimming Championships. Night four is getting ready behind me now at the London Aquatics Centre and we are going to be rounding this up on tomorrow's episode. So make sure you're subscribed to the Propulsion Swimming YouTube channel and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,